Greetings, my friends. As I'm sure you've noticed now, I'm doing videos every day. Uh, there's so much prophecy being fulfilled. It just lightning uh, strike pace. I can no longer just do every other day videos. I got to put them out. And honestly, I'm being totally honest. I could do 50, 50 videos each day and still not cover all of the end times just rapidly, uh, just lightning fast things happening. I'm cherry picking uh, the top out of the 50. It's amazing how God's hand is moving right now. Did a video yesterday for you all on the Isaiah 17 prophecy. Here's another huge prophecy that's about to be fulfilled. You need to be listening closely, pay attention, and just share this video and get the word out. Things are happening so fast. The Gog Magog War, for those who don't know, is when Russia, who is Gog, or Putin is Gog from Magog, Russia, will come down, uh, as this picture shows, uh, to Israel. He'll bring Iran, he'll bring Turkey, he'll bring all kinds of North African countries, he'll bring all kinds of Middle Eastern countries. They will all come and attack. Israel. And this is again a war that many think, most think happens right after the rapture. Some think right before or right at the same time. I'm in the camp that I believe it will happen right after the rapture. Regardless, it shows that we're right on the threshold. But this is the big news though. Are you ready for this? This is the big news. Russia, right now, their economy is sinking. Vladimir Putin, uh, Russia's beloved president, who is Gog, by the way, of Magog, of Russia, his popularity is sinking. It's tanking. It's even worse than Cyprus's is in Greece. Worse than the their boy uh, in France, uh, Macron or whatever his name is, lower than his. It's sinking. They need money fast. Have you noticed how Putin keeps talking about building new nuclear weapons and new long-range missiles and how he's beefing up his presence in Syria, which is right on Israel's border? and how he's acting like he's Israel's friend. He's a snake in the grass, and he needs money. His country needs money. He needs popularity. What is the way that countries' leaders get popularity? By going to war. They need the money. Israel has record deposits of natural gas, of oil, of gold, of silver, wealth everywhere. Israel's the most wealthy nation in the entire planet. Israel's God's chosen people. It's just a, it's a plethora of wealth. Russia needs this. They say that Putin needs to pull a rabbit out of his hat, the news says, to be able to get his popularity back and get Russia's coffers filled with money once again. There's only one way it can happen, my friends, to attack Israel. But, as the old infomercials say, but wait, there's more. He'll try to attack Israel, but God, not Gog, God, G-O-D, the creator of the heavens and universe, will actually defeat all these nations. And you, you see all these nations everywhere. God will defeat them, send them packing. And Russia is not going to get what they need. They're going to be destroyed by God's own hand. We're right on the threshold of eternity, my friends. The news, God is just putting the news out right in our faces every day. Sadly, few Christians can see it because they're too busy trying to live the high life. They don't care. This is the bottom line. Christ is about to snatch his bride away imminently in the rapture. Believe in the rapture if you want to. Don't believe in it. The Bible proves it. I've got over 100 scriptures that prove that it's true. If you're left behind for the pre-tribulation rapture, I bet you'll believe in it then, won't you? And then you'll be left behind for seven pure years of hell where if God didn't intervene, no flesh remain alive and billions will die. Grotesque, awful, terrible, horrific deaths and even worse than that, you may end up in hell before you get a chance to be saved. Why would you even go through all that stuff? Why? There's no need to. It's everywhere, my friends. The signs are everywhere. Jesus Christ is your only hope. You've never been saved, you're backslidden again. I know many Christians don't believe they can be backslidden. I've got hundreds, not just a hundred, but hundreds of scripture that show that you can and you will be. You have to repent of your sins after you're saved to make it to heaven. Repentance does not work. We're saved, we're saved by grace. No amount of works can save us or keep us saved, but repentance is a different criteria altogether. God commands us to repent after we're saved. Christ commands us to repent after we're saved. The Apostle Paul commands us to repent after we're saved. Christians don't want to see it because they don't want to. They don't see it because they don't want to see it. they got their heads in the sand like a bunch of ostriches. If you're one of those two states, backslidden or, or unsaved, pray the prayer. Do the six steps I have in the box below the video. No one's guaranteed another day, hour, minute, or second of your life. If you'd like prayer for anything, contact me. I pray for you every day without fail. True Christians, witness and pray for the lost daily. It's your job. If you're not doing it, do it now and look up our different draw and I will fly soon. May God bless you again. Share this video with everybody you possibly can. Get the word out and understand I'll be putting videos out every day now. Come to this channel, come to my Facebook page and find them. They'll be out constantly. May God bless you. I love you guys. Bye.